Hi everyone, this is Nomi from Good Wool Story. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can wash your wool clothes by using a washing machine. The first thing you should know about wool is that it's naturally auto-resistant. The sweat bacteria that causes the unpleasant smell is broken down by keratin, the protein of wool, making it easier to care for. So once your wool garment is deemed to be cleaned, try airing it before washing. If the clothing is soiled with food residue that's dried up, try dry brushing the surface gently. When you decide that it is time to wash the garment, you can choose between washing it either by hand or by machine. I personally like the latter option. Most of the modern washing machines have a program specifically for wool products. Compared to hand washing, it delivers more uniform results in my opinion. So let me show you how I do it. First, we need to take a look at the wool program specification of the washing machine for the maximum load. In my case, the maximum weight of wool laundry is 2 kilograms. So I will collect my wool clothing until it reaches the maximum weight, or more or less. If you have one or two pieces, opt for hand Hand washing and if you do not feel like hand washing it then fill the wash with other items that are delicate and with no hard accessories this will make sure that your precious wool garments won't be damaged during the wash so once you have gathered enough wool the next thing you want to do is turning the items inside out this helps minimizing the possible agitation during the wash I make an exception for small accessories like gloves and socks one thing here to keep in mind is that the color of your laundry just like the normal laundry make sure that you separate the dark and light colored items if you have products from us you can wash light colored items and dark colored items all together because we do not dye our products when washing wool it's very important that you use a wool detergent because the regular laundry detergents have enzymes that break down biological molecules removing various kinds of stains however they also break down the molecules in wool and that's something we want to avoid now let's talk about temperature as you can see here the maximum temperature of the wool program I'm using is 40 degrees Celsius although this is considered to be safe I always go for 30 degrees or less to make sure that my clothes do not shrink this is also eco-friendlier moving on to spinning cycle this helps get rid of excess water from the products the maximum of cycles is 800 by default on this machine I leave this one as is Finally, it's time to dry. Find a clean, flat surface. Next, get a clean beach towel. Lay the towel flat on the surface and put your wool garment on it. Lay the garment flat by gently tapping it. This method gets rid of wrinkles and saves the ironing work later on. If you are not able to do this, just hang the item on the rack like this or like so, whichever way you want. This is made possible because we used washing machine that centrifuges the excessive water far better than when we do it by hand. If we have washed the garment by hand, the product must be flat dried in order to avoid dimensional extension. I will talk more about this in next video, how to wash wool by hand. Now once the garment is dry, go ahead and steam or iron if necessary. Just make sure when ironing you use steam function and temperatures somewhere between 160 and 170 degrees Celsius. And voila, until next time, be mindful and be happy. Cheers!